everyone, this is Anna Karin from Layers of Ink and I'm here today with a quick and fun technique using Distress Ink and Stencils together with water. So you'll need a surface to work on, I used the tag but you can also use something else. And I used the Simon Says Stamp Bubble Wrap Stencil and then some Distress Ink. Just pick your favorite colors and you need some ink blending tools and a water mister bottle and that's about it. So now we'll just start inking and I usually start with the lightest color first and this is Twisted Citron and basically you, you just ink the surface. You don't need to be too careful about getting the inking perfect at this stage. I usually start at the, from the side and work myself into the paper. As you can see, I'm, I'm speeding this up a bit because otherwise it will take forever. And this is Mermaid Lagoon. Just doing the same thing. I'm using the mini round inking tools here, but you can also use the, the square tools. Mermaid Lagoon and Twisted Citron together it just happens to be one of my favorite Distress Ink combinations. And now I'm just mixing them together again with the Twisted Citron, which will blend them. And you'll also see a, a, a third shade being created in those areas where they meet, if that makes sense. And now we're coming with some ground espresso. Just in a few areas, I don't want this tag to be too dark or too distressed looking. And then I'm just adding a bit more of the other two inks until I'm happy with the look. So there we go, we have our ink tag and now I'm taking out the bubble wrap stencil again and I'm going to miss that off camera quite a few times. So as you can hear I'm misting the, the stencil quite a lot and I'm holding it at a, a bit of a distance from myself so that I get small water drops on the stencil. And now you'll turn the stencil around and carefully place it on the tag with, with the wet side down. I, I try to line it up by looking at the dots, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And just place, place a printer paper on top and smooth it out a bit with your hand like this. And now we'll see. And remove the stencil and there you see. So you get kind of a ghost effect almost where the water on the stencil removes some of the ink, making the dots look darker than the surrounding areas. So I used just a paper towel to, to remove some of the excess water. And as you can see, I'm kind of folding it over and over. I want to use a, a clean part of the paper towel each time so I'm, that I'm not transferring ink from one part of the tag to the other. And that's it. That's the fun background technique. You can of, of course experiment with different stencils and different distress inks to see what results that you can get and what you will like the best. And you can stamp on the background and you can put embellishments on it. I heat embossed some circles from the Simon Says Stamp Mix and Match Circle Set and added some metal, ideology metal pieces. And I die cut a mini ant interactive envelope and placed it on the card. And you can actually open the envelope and there is a little tiny card inside with some good news. Thank you so much for watching today and you can always find more inspiration and tutorials on my blog Layers of Ink. Happy crafting! Bye!